Welcome back, everybody, to the Nerdcore Podcast, the podcast that reviews movies and talks that nerd shit. This is episode 718, and it is your review of Gaspar Noé's Climax. As always, this is the Nerdcore Podcast, the host show, along with my wonderful co-host, Brad Young Yoda. What's up, everybody, and welcome to wonderful, wonderful, and uh, mildly wonderful Friday. <laughs> Friday morning, live, early, nad-free for our patrons over at patreon.com slash the Nerdcore Usually this up on Thursday night, but I had to work last night, so we couldn't do this. Even though Brad was ready to podcast last night, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm sorry, man, I, cool. I, I got work." I, I still movie, have work, so yeah, yeah. Um, so um, yeah, we're doing this live early. One dollar tier gets you this episode live early and ad free, so you can talk with us on uh, in the chat, and you don't get it with an ad. And it goes up for everybody tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Time. On publicly for everybody on YouTube and podcast services around the world. But before we can get into today's review, Brad, how are you doing today, man? Um, I I woke up today, and I should have just stayed in bed. Why? <laughs> so you mentioned the windstorm. That's yeah, yeah. I'm we, hearing we got a right cold now. front coming in. The tree branch next to my house broke off the tree and decided it. The, my truck was a fun place to land on. <laughs> oh, fuck. So the hood's dented. There's a dent over one of the doors, and it took the side mirror out. The only good thing <laughs> that didn't happen, or did happen, I guess, is that the windshield wasn't broke because I just replaced that two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. That sucks. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, I, I woke up at six, took the dogs out, and I couldn't get past the big ass tree branch that was in the, the walkway between the house and, you know, the cliff. That must have happened like while you were asleep, right? Yeah, that's that's my guess. Yeah, because I don't know if you wouldn't be able to hear like if you. No, no, yeah. it's, it's far enough. Wouldn't have been able to hear. Damn, Especially bro. with this wind. You can't hear <laughs> over this wind. Jeez, so. man, that really fucking sucks, man. It is what it is. So I yeah, guess we deal so, with insurance. So yeah. Fuck man. That that's, really that's, sucks. That, that's easy. And I think we have a thousand dollar deductible, so that's easily. Yeah, that's a thousand dollars right there, easily. Yeah. Hopefully you don't have to pay a lot, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot to, yeah. to get fixed, bro. Cause you're saying big ass dent, side mirrors out. Yeah, hood hood's dented, like part of it's in. So yeah, it's it's over, it's over a grand easy. Yeah, bro, that's fuck fucking bad, bro. That's, oh my god, man, you have another car, right? Yeah, I got I got a Prius. So oh, okay, so you, you still be able to go to work and stuff. Yeah, you know. yeah, it's it's not. It just it's take just out the annoying. Prius. <laughs> just why fucking can, annoying. You're just like, why couldn't you have taken out the Prius? <laughs> yeah, well the. The way I park my truck is on the other side of the garage, and Brenda's Mustang is in the garage on the other side, so she pulls out so I don't park the truck there. Starting to think maybe you should have parked it somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but oh, I didn't well. know the tree branch was going to break on the fucking tree, so. Yeah, and it <laughs> wasn't like a small little tree branch. It was a muff- like a big no, ass one. No, no, it's, it's, I'll take a picture of it because I got to go chainsaw the fucking thing. So I yeah. am, I'm having having a great day. You're gonna be and, like, and this is this is and my friends are coming over tonight. Yeah. And they're staying the weekend. So I have to clean the house on top of that. So it's just it's it's all falling together. It's all falling yeah, in place. Like, stupid fucking tree. <laughs> <laughs> well it is, um, it is what it is at this rate. So like I said, I'm just glad it didn't catch the windshield. Because I just replaced that two weeks ago, and that was just another fucking thing. It's just more money on top of more money, bro. Having a car, from what I've been told, is just putting so much money into this thing. Yeah, well, it, it, they're fine when they're running well, and you don't have any issues. Yeah, but like my truck like runs happens. fine. It's just um, it's what happens when a tree branch falls on it. Yeah, good thing you have insurance, and good thing yeah. you have a deductible. Yeah, but, I just um, don't know if it'll go through car insurance or home insurance, so... We'll... We'll yeah. See. Um, I I went to work last night, man. Um, 
just had that going on. I uh, got home, watched Agatha. So that way we could have been ready for this today. Um, I streamed on Wednesday. Yeah, I streamed on Wednesday. I played a Roblox. I've never had, I've never played so many, like, oh my God, bro. I played with so many fucking kids, man. <laughs> I kept hearing them like, Nathan, Nathan, where are you, Nathan? I'm like, okay. I was like, maybe, maybe this, maybe I'm Maybe not this isn't it. Maybe this isn't yeah. it. <laughs> this isn't it. Some of the it games were fun, but like, I don't want to have to like be walk, like playing and like also the thing is like hypersensitive to what you're saying. So I was almost banned because I kept saying like fuck and fuck and fuck and stuff like that. So <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I'm not turning on this stupid mic anymore. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe time to find another game. Yeah. I mean, it's got a lot of viewership, Brad. <laughs> well, I'm sure. I mean. Yeah. But yeah, uh, that was that. And I um, am now here, ready to do this thing, man. I got work tonight and then uh, tomorrow morning I got work again. Yeah. So. Well, let's let's get on because I got a tree Yeah, to tree branch. And... <laughs> yeah, tree branch to saw, to contain yeah. saw. Yeah. So if you have not seen Climax, you should probably get out of here if you care about sports. But if you don't care about sports or you've already seen the film, go ahead and stay. Either way, how it goes, this is one only spoiler warning, and it is in effect in a five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Today's episode of the Nerdcore is brought to you by SeaGeek. Whether you want to see your favorite band, sports team, or comedian, SeaGeek has you covered. We're proud to be partnering with SeaGeek to offer you ten dollars off your first order with code the Nerdcore. That's ten dollars off your first order at SeaGeek.com with code T H E N E R D C O R P S. So take a seat at your next live event with SeatGeek. Thank you. Now let's get back to today's video. All right, Brad. By the by the way, the banner was super easy. <laughs> Just want to put the, the title. Just one word, bro. Just one Just word. Just one word. In a yeah. very short word. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's only another Climax film, but that film has a, what's it called? A, a uh, exclamation point and it's a porn. So we're not ah. going to talk okay, about that so film. it's not that one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Climax is a 2018 psychedelic horror film directed, written, and co-edited by Gaspar Noé, featuring an ensemble cast of 24 actors led by Sofia Boutella. The plot is set in 1996 and follows a French dance troupe, uh, troupe, troupe, uh, troupe. holding a yeah troupe a, holding a days long rehearsal in an abandoned school. The, fr- the final night of rehearsing is a success, but the group's celebratory after party takes a dark turn when the communal bowl of sangria is spiked with LSD sending each of the dancers into agitated, confused, and psychotic states. The film is notable for its unorthodox production, having been conceived and pre-produced in four weeks and shot in chronological order in only 15 days. Although Noé conceived the premise, the bulk of the film was unrehearsed on the spot improvisation by the cast, who were provided no lines of dialogue beforehand and had almost complete liberty as to where the story, where to take the story and the characters. Climax features unusual editing and cinematography choices and includes several long takes, including one lasting over 42 minutes. The cast of the film consists almost exclusively of dancers who, aside from Butella and Suhela Suhela Yoku, uh, had no previous acting experience. Climax premiered on May 10th, 2018, in the Director's Fortnight section at the 2018 Cannes Film Festival, where it won Art, where it won the Art Cinema Award. It was theatrically released in France on. September 19, 2018, by Wild Bunch, and in Belgium on, tw- on November 21st, 2018, by Old Brother Distribution. The film received positive reviews with much praise for its direction, cinematography, soundtrack, choreography, and performances, although some criticized its violence and perceived lack of story. And cinematography is by Benoit Devi, edited by Denis Bedlo, and what's it called, uh, Gaspar Noé. Music is done by... Uh, Thomas Bengalter, ben- 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 who is uh, one half of Daft Punk. Um, hmm. Yep. Now it sits at 96 minutes, which is an hour and 36. And on a $2.9 million budget, it made $1.7 million at the box office. Yep. That explains why the Daft Punk, Daft Punk logo showed up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they use a lot of, and they use some Daft Punk songs in there. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, he's uh he's he's worked with Thomas for all of his career, and he what's it called? Uh, he's yeah he's one half of uh of, of Daft Punk. So, uh, Brad, um, I can't even tell you how many times I've seen this movie, bro. 
like, like, I think at this point it's five or six. So I'm going to throw it to you because I want to hear your thoughts. What are your initial thoughts on Climax? I thought it, I thought it was a good film. I like this film. I like this film. It's definitely a horror film. Um, <laughs> there's no getting around that. You um, tell me if it's not, you tell me if that's not scary as fuck, bro. I, I mean, it's I, I figure like if your friend comes up to you and is like, "Hey, you want to try LSD?" You just show him this film. You're like, "Nah, man, <laughs> nah, man I'm good, bro. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good, bro. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here." Um, I, I I love the I, I so. It, Wikipedia actually explained a lot of this. I did not know this didn't have a written story, basically, that it kind mm -hmm. of flowed with what the cast wanted to do. And that that's kind of excellent how this film ended up being then. Um, that's a different way of shooting. Uh, Cinematography-wise, yeah. I really like this. Um, although I, I found myself at the end going, well, I'm an idiot. I should have known it was the German who the spiked the punch bowl because she literally talked about her ex doing LSD drops in his eyes. And at the end I was like, Oh, it was the German. And I'm like, I, I, why did I think of that sooner? Yeah, um, I guess I was so engrossed in the story. Uh, my only issue really with this film is the start is slow, but that's every horror film. It starts a little bit slow and then it builds up into what we have at the end, which is uh, definitely psychedelic horror <laughs> as stated. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I enjoyed, I thought the cast did really well for them not being professional actors, um, at least most of them. And the story, with, with the story not even being written, that ended up being a very uh, well-made film. Yeah. Man, I love this movie. Um, this is one of my favorite movies from him. I think that the soundtrack is great. It's somebody who's not even that much into, like, uh, EDM, techno, stuff like that. I'm like, fuck, I love the soundtrack, bro. And uh, I think that the dance numbers are all fantastic. Everybody does a great job. Even Sofia Butella, who's not even a dancer. But everybody else, right, they're all actual dancers, so they know what they're doing. But, yeah, man, I love the dance numbers. I love the opening scene in the, I, in the I, ballroom. I like, I like the cinematography choices, like the above shot when yeah. they're dancing. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, and then just the transition with the um, with all the logos coming up and credits. Oh yeah. my man, I love that! I love that! I love that scene, and it's just um, great. I, I, it's it, it's a really good film. It's a really great film, man. I love this movie. I think that there's a lot going on here. I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't agree with people who say that there's a there's no story in here because there is. There, there's there's a, story. Well, the more you so at the end of it, like you think about the film. And things start popping in your head. And it's actually a very intelligent made film because you think about the end and it's the red lights. Yeah. I didn't realize those were the emergency lights because the yep. power went out because the kid <laughs> got killed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of like, you know, characters aren't just like, there's so much, there's a lot of jealousy. There's a, like there's there's uh there's these characters here who are kind of all just misguided. They don't understand what they want at all, no. and it's it's almost a miracle that they actually work as a team to do their performances when everybody kind of just hates each other and nobody yeah, wants nobody likes each other. Uh, is it Edward? Everybody hated Edward. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> poor man. That guy is. Yeah, yeah. That guy was just thinking with his dick the whole time. The whole time, but most of them, most of those guys were. Yeah, um, I mean, the, the two black guys, man. The whole yeah. time, they're just like, oh, my God. The, like, there was, like, what, a 15, 20-minute take of them? And I'm guessing that they did, like, they were just saying a bunch of random shit, and they just edited it out, all the good stuff, or all the all the stuff that they wanted, they they took from that. Because that was a whole long, like, ah, oh, yeah, stick it up her ass, and, you know, all this. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah. well, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it's like a Kevin Smith take of Jay and Silent Bob, and you just take you let them go on for a while and then you just edit out the parts you don't want. Yeah. And, um, man. And, um, and of course like the, the, what's it called? The sister whose brother is really fucking creepy. And he's, what's it called? Uh, he's, he's, uh, he, well, he's overbearing when he's yeah. not LSD and then he's, yeah. 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 So it's just like, I, I, I don't believe that there's not a story in this. I, there 100% is a story and it's about like these people who, what's it called? Um, uh, all, all want to create something like big and big for themselves. And they want to create something that's like 
going to like, I'll live them all, but they're what's it called underlying hatred and jealousy for each other. And, you know, feelings for each other. They just absolutely f screws it up once uh, they're, and, you know, and you have the characters, the characters who aren't on LSD get blamed. And oh, my yeah. thinking was when the cops showed up, I'm like, Oh, Omar went to the cops. And Stop, bro, Omar, the, Omar oh, Omar died. fucking dead. No, he was frozen to death. Froze to so. death, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Omar froze to death. Out Omar, there. Omar froze to death. Um, the 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 pregnant woman got punched in the belly, and then um, I don't know what happened to her in the end. There, she died. Yeah, that's what I figured. Because um, the beginning of the film is the actual end. Oh yeah, because she's out there in running the in the snow. Okay, that's her. Yeah, yeah. So she's she, she's dying. She's well, yeah. She doesn't, yeah. That, that she was, dies or she got a miscarriage. That was also an interesting way to open the film is you start with the ending and then yeah. you have, have the, the scrolling text because yeah. I, I had to do a double take on my, on my, and I'm sure this is probably what he meant. I did a double take on my TV, make sure like, yeah, did somebody else watch this and like, no. Okay. No, no, no. He, <laughs> yeah. What's it called? Um, uh, it's a thing that he always does. It's because, um, he, so he, what's it called? He he does it like that because it's just the way that he grew up watching movies. Back in the day, when you watch films like yeah, the, it was the, the 60s, beginning. 70s, and 80s, they had the text, the what's it called, the credits in the beginning. Yeah, which, which is totally fine. It's just I was taken yeah. off guard, and I, I want to make sure like I didn't because the way it is, it's like well, that looked like the ending. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, the end is the actual beginning of this film, and then yeah. obviously it goes into the interviews and it actually goes through what is actually happening. So also, did you did you see? I thought it was cool with the interviews. They did the TV, and then they had all the horror films on one side. Oh, yeah. I, they, I couldn't read the book titles, but I saw the horror films. Salo is in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a few good ones in there. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of films in there, um, a lot of his favorite ones. Uh, but, yeah, I, I've, I've, I've tried to read all of them on there, but, uh, yeah, it's like there's a lot of stuff on there. Yeah, and, I, can, uh, I couldn't read the books, but I did see the films. Yeah. Man, but I, I really love this movie, man. I think cinematography wise, it's incredible. And the fact that he does a whole 42 minute long take in, in the second half of the film is yeah. just it's crazy. <laughs> like, um, and also, there, what's it called? Yeah, like you said, the, he, he kind of he just goes in and he's like, hey guys, like, what's it called? The story's ours. He has no script. And he tells him, like, you get to end up with who you want. You get to fuck who you want. You get to, what's it called? Uh, you get to kill whoever you want. And that's the way we're going to take the story. And I think that it ends up becoming a really, really cool film and a really good film. And it doesn't feel like it's all over the place. And I just, it's one of my favorites from him. And just musically, it's just, it's fucking awesome. I yeah. like, I, I love the music in his films, but in this one, man, like, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. Even just the score from, from Bangalater, Bangalter, uh, it's really, really good. Well, it adds to the tension of the film. Yeah. Which you need in a horror film. I yeah. mean, the music is always a big part of a good horror film. Yeah. I mean, that's sh the sh when the shift happens and you have that song where it's like, wow, 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 wow. I'm like, oh my, oh my. The, God. Yeah. And then you got like just the, the lights. The, yeah. Just, yeah. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, man. <laughs> but um, yeah. What, what do you think? Of, what do you think about Sophia Patel in this film? You know, she's, which, she's which great... character was that? Salva. She's, she's in like she's all great. these other. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. Yeah. So she's, she's like going she's an amazing crazy. Actress. Like... Yeah. Once like it really hits and she's like fully freaking out and crashing out. You're just out, yelling like... and screaming. That that was another part is you had this whole long hallway of this empty school and just you hear screaming not from her yeah. but like in the distance. You're like, okay, what the fuck is going on there? And yeah. then she starts screaming and you're like, holy fuck! There's a there's a, just the playing with sound with that 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 school. Yeah, that, that does a lot to with the psychological effect of it. Yeah, especially when you're going around where that kid is, it's like you know that like, oh man, we're coming back. Like the kid's gonna be like, the, I knew, I knew that kid was not. It's like, hey, don't get in the electric; that'll kill you. And it's like, what the, what do you think's gonna happen? Plus, he yeah. just drank the sangria. You basically, you know, lock him in another room. There were plenty of like bedrooms and stuff. She could lock him in. She was not in. Yeah, she was one. She wasn't that great of a mom. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if like, you know, the sangria did like kind of uh, pull out the real versions of some people. It, it may. I mean, it definitely. Did that mom actually anger. want that kid? Bro? Like, Well, and I, I don't know because she ends up killing herself right in front of that door. Yeah. So 
I don't know. It, it's kind of left up in the air in that. But at the same point, it's like she wasn't in the right frame of mind. Um, and what she should have done is she should have put the kid in one of the bedrooms because there were plenty of fucking bedrooms in there. That then they would lock the doors. Yeah. So yeah. I, I I don't know. And, I don't know that I, one. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it ended up being good for the story because, um, like I said at the end, the power goes out, and you're like, "Yeah, the power go out." It's like, "Oh, because the kid, the kid the went kid. into the locker and electrocuted himself and took out the power." Yeah. And then, um, God, man, fucking, what's her name? Uh, Yakub, Sakir Yakub, who plays the uh the pregnant girl. Good God, is she a fucking good crier? Oh my yeah. God, man. Yeah. Those were like, those were those were some real like guttural cries. Oh my God, dude. I, I, I but the scene where where she's she's like. Butel is yelling, she's pregnant. And then the next scene, she's just getting kicked in the stomach. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, like you're yeah. like, ah, damn. Yeah, by the black girl. Yeah. They're yeah. Like, oh my God. Yeah. Poor, poor girl, man. Poor like, I don't girl. Care. <laughs> yeah. But um, damn great film, man. It's one of my favorites from him. And it's just, I think I can see it multiple times and I never get tired of it. To me, it's a perfect 10 out of 10. I love this movie so much. Uh, Brad, what's your final verdict? I'm going to give this a high rating, a nine out of 10. I, I think it's really good. Like I said, to me, it's a little slow in the beginning, but with horror films and how it is, but I think overall it's a great watch. It's a really great film. Yeah. All right, man. Well, that concludes our review of Climax. And as always, we want to thank you guys so much for joining us here. And as always, follow us on Nerdcore.com, Twitter, the Nerdcore, Instagram, Instagram, Letterboxd, Serialized, uh, yeah, Instagram, Letterbox, TikTok, at the Nerdcore, Patreon.com, slash the Nerdcore. At the one dollar tier, you get this episode along with our other episodes that we do for this show, live, early, and ad free. And make sure you go and check that out because it's definitely one of the best ways to support us. But it's also the best way to be able to talk with us in chat when we do it at a reasonable time that you guys are in chat. Not in the morning when you guys are at work. And, of course, our Discord link is in the description below. So you can tell us if we're completely wrong on this film. And if you actually hate it. And, yeah. I I, I picked this one because this is probably one of his most... Well, I wouldn't say accessible. But it's like... It's one of the, his films that's not completely either... What's it called? Uh, really fucked up. And not and what's it called? In, not completely out there. Mm -hmm. But it's also one of his, you know, one of his best work. Um, and I, I, I also made sure to pick one that wasn't going to have like fuck ton of strobing lights. Yeah, I, I, I well, I watched this during the day anyway, and then okay, cool. Brenda wasn't watching it, but yeah. um, cinematography wise, this is I, it's impressive to me. Yeah. Well, we'll see if I want to select more of his movies. There's there's a lot of crazy stuff that he gets into, and yeah, it's um, but yeah, I just um, I don't know. I don't want. Uh, there's 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 some movies where what's it called? Definitely, um, Brenda might not want to be present because of the lights. Yeah. But there's also some that she's gonna walk in and she's gonna be like, "What the fuck is Raul making you watch? Like, why the <laughs> fuck are you watching this shit?" Yeah. Yeah. She already does that, so she's yeah. used to it. But I, I think with some of these, all, all I do is is like Raul's pick. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, as she's always, like, make sure she's like something's wrong with that boy. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I, <laughs> there's a lot wrong with me, but. Well, sorry. Um, yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the notification and also clicking the notification bell and leave a like on the video as all of that helps us out so much. Leave a comment on the video. Tell us if we're completely wrong, if we're completely right. Do you like this film? What do you guys think about our review and all that wonderful stuff? We'd like to talk to you guys, so please make sure you talk to us in the comments below. And also on your favorite podcast app of choice, make sure you leave a five-star review and you follow us on that app. All of that helps us out so, so much. And of course... We want to thank our Patreon supporters. Without them, just none of this happens. And they're just great people who make all of this possible. And without them, you're just not doing it at the level that we're doing it. And they deserve a shout out because of that. And of course, our wonderful producer, Shane, where can you find him, Brad? You follow our friend Shane at twitch.tv slash XSRK or on Twitter at thrifted.io or go buy something from the suppy god at depop.com slash prison city vintage. Damn straight. And as always, we'll be back next week with our final. Um, yes, with our final um, our final uh, film for Horror Month. And... Are we at the end for Horror? Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we're at the, like, the second. Yeah, the third film for, for Horror okay. Month. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, we, yeah, sorry. Although it's um, hard to tell because our extras, at least the ones I chose, are also horror films. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we got uh, we got some more films coming down the line, guys. We got next week. We got some. You could not choose two any two very different films in the horror genre with Brad's picks for next week. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, what we'll did be I back. pick? Uh, next week we're starting off with uh, with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, we got that coming on. So we'll be live early and ad free on Monday hey, I'll night. Those hocus pocus. <laughs> Uh, I think it'll be Monday night, but um, yeah, we'll see. Um, actually, let me see. I'm checking here, but um, yeah, it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So live early on Monday night and Thursday night as well. So we're going to be fine. Next week is not going to be a crazy schedule. So we're back to normal. And also in November, I'm only working one Thursday night. Everything else is pretty much what I requested. So we're going to be fine to record as usual. Cool. But just that one Thursday night, I only have to do it like a Friday. What's it called? Friday morning or what's it called? Friday night. Figure it out. Yeah. But without further ado, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Tune in to our Agatha All Along review and watch that. And with that being said, Brad, let's go ahead and get them out of here. All right, Roll. Thank you for being the host as always. Thank you to all those who join us in future chats. Thank you to our listeners out there, our Patreon supporters. We appreciate each and every one of you. And to end this episode, I guess all I would say is uh, don't take LSD. Young Yoda out. 